Hello, my name is Rahul Nasir from Kirby Motor Racing Sim Club, and today I'm going to be giving you guys the ultimate guide on how to get a Seto Corsa. Now, before even thinking about picking up the sim, you have to check if your computer has the right system requirements. Uh, pretty easy to do that. Uh, you want to go into your search bar on Windows. You want to search up system information. Open that up. You're going to find a lot of information here. What you're really looking for is processor. Right here, I am running an i7. 2.30 gigahertz uh that is more than enough for the game um i would say minimum look for an i5 and i5 is minimum i3 don't even worry about it it's you're not gonna be able to i5 i would say is the minimum uh 2.4 gigahertz uh you also want to look for on here and if you just want to scroll down a little bit you are looking for your installed physical memory, aka your RAM. I'm running 16. Minimum, at least run six gigabytes of RAM. And uh, that's all you need in here. To check your graphics card, over here, you wanna search up NVIDIA control panel if you don't have this application. Um, I'm not too sure if you'll be able to run the game. However, a great way of maybe thinking about it is if you've got your laptop or computer in the last five years, I know computers with an i5 have really been on the more powerful side and you'll be able to run games like Assetto Corsa. Uh, the Assetto Corsa was made in 2014, so it should be able to, but of course you're gonna have to play around with that. So if you do have the Nvidia control panel, you could check up here if you click the home little home house icon i am running a rtx 3060 um of course i'm going to recommend a 1060 uh that's really just the main point you can go i think you can also go as low as a geforce gt 460 but again the game is going to be extremely choppy and so i just recommend to at least be a playable game you're looking for a 1060, a GeForce 1060, and that is really it. That is all the system requirements you're going to need. If you search it up, you might find more, but that is really the brief rundown. So closing out of that, now that you know, all right, I have all these system requirements ready to get the game. How am I getting this game? You can obviously go to Steam and install it. Uh, usually the game is about 40 bucks for the ultimate edition. You don't want to get the regular edition but uh, only sometimes when it goes on sale, it goes for 20. I will be showing you guys the best website to get a set of Corsa Ultimate. Uh, what you wanna do, go on Chrome, you want to go to CD Keys. Uh, before you go into CD Keys, actually, you're gonna wanna install Steam and you're gonna wanna create an account. Once you've created an account, CD Keys, uh, this link will be in the description. All links will be in the description. Um, you want to search up Assetto Corsa Ultimate, kind of see it down here, click that, load that up, here you'll find the game, 20 bucks um, in Canada, so 20 Canadian dollars, buy that, once you buy that you will get an email that will say thank you for your order, you know, I have to blur some of this out, but uh, it will say your order is complete, it will give you your order number when you placed it, uh, your order has been complete, and then to get your code, you want to go to your profile. You want to click the little icon here. You're going to click on my account. Once you click on my account, you're going to go on to my orders. From my orders, you're going to see your game right here. Uh, to get the code, you're going to click this, and you can kind of see it. I'm not going to show you guys my code, but... Um, you can see when you click that you're gonna get a little box down here and your code's gonna be right down here to enter that code you're gonna go into steam over here you're gonna go you're probably gonna be loaded up into the store uh you're gonna be going into your games and you're gonna go to activate a steam product uh you just want to click next over here agree put in that code and it will be and you'll be able to install the game and you'll find that when you go to your library and that would be a set of course that it would be installing uh but my game is fully installed let's go into the base game and launch the game just once you should be able to open it up after so 
after installing the game, you're going to have to click launch to run all these scripts. Now you can go launch the game right now and go play around. If you have a steering wheel or a controller, plug that in and just go have some fun. Or I'm going to be giving you guys the launcher that you guys are going to be using. It'll make life way easier instead of launching the game all the time. You're never going to have to launch the game from Steam. What you're going to need to do is uh, go into the description. Look for content manager. Content manager will be your home for just starting a set of course of races and joining servers. So you can see right here, it's a custom launcher and, and content manager app for a set of Corsa. This thing will make your life way easier if you're going to be using a set of Corsa a lot. And even if you're using it once or twice, really easy. So you want to scroll all the way down here. You're going to be opening up this link right here. Download that. You're going to see that zip file open right over here. Open that. You're going to see that content manager. Double click that. Uh, run. Once you run it, you're going to see this pop up. So once this has popped up, I would say leave all this alone. Uh, you must install a set of course of first before you install content manager. The reason why is that it looks for the Assetto Corsa root folder. So if you don't have the root folder, this will not work. Other than that, you have your Steam ID. Uh, scrolling down here. If you want, you can install all these extra um, things. Just makes your, just makes installing mods easier. Uh, but other than that, after you got all that done, if you install it, don't install it, I won't install it. Press OK. From there, you'll be treated to a, um, a small tutorial on how to use this. Um, I'll give you guys a little brief thing. So, now that you're on the home screen here, it's very, very easy on uh, how to use this. So, uh, if you want to pick a car and track, you want to click right here for your car. Let's say we want to drive a Ferrari. Let's drive the 488 GT3, click OK. For the track, click over here, kind of the same thing. Let's go drive in Silverstone, click that, Silverstone GP, OK. Um, got your race laps, let's go for a five lap race. Um, let's have about 15 opponents and let's start in the top five. Uh, when you have all that done, you can click go. Um, to set up your controls, you want to go into settings. You want to go to a set of Corsa. You want to go to controls. And here you'll be able to assign a steering wheel, a throttle. So when you click that, you'll be able to, once your steering wheel is plugged in, or if you have a controller, you'll be able to um, set that all up. Uh, really crucial here, custom shaders patch. Get custom shaders patch you want to go back you want to go to the next link it's going to be called custom shaders patch scroll all the way down and you're going to be looking for the recommended version uh currently when i'm recording right now the 1.60 is the recommended version this might change for you depending on when you're watching this video and now to install this uh i'm going to give you a brief little practice on how you're going to be installing car mods as well so you want to go into set of Corsa, the uh, content manager. I'm going to minimize that this to the corner. I'm going to drag this to the corner right here. You want to drag and drop your zip files in to content manager. And here, when you click on the top right, you'll see light shaders patch. This is where you're going to be installing all your mods right here. You're going to click install for that. This is going to pop up install. Boom. Over here, um, I would turn off uh, I, I would check for updates and startup only, and I would do not update, do not auto update. Um, that's because a lot of these you can see right here, buggy, untested, untested. You could go test them out for yourself. I would just stick with whatever is recommended. So this is currently recommended right now. Um, here you can go and play around with a whole bunch of settings over here. Yeah, shadows, graphic adjustments, GUI. There's a whole lot of things you could play around with. 
But um, yeah, I won't be going too much into that. All right, so just before installing mods to make your life a little bit easier, we want to install, I recommend WinRAR. You can also use 7-Zip. I'll use WinRAR for the example. Uh, you want to go to your downloads. This is just way easier to zip your files. Uh, I'm going to use 64-bit. And you want to let that install. And then you're just going to be going through the complete setup of this like you were to install any other application. Once you do get WinRAR, it's now time to install mods. So, you want to go to Chrome. Race department, you want to go to. This is going to be your number one source, your best source for finding a set of course of mods. You want to go to downloads, scroll down just a little bit. You want to go to a set of Corsa, cars. Uh, I usually filter with um, downloads just to see what people are downloading. Let's get the Honda NSX. Download that. Make sure you're logged in. If it doesn't, if it gives you a um, login button, just uh, create an account. Absolutely free. While that's installing, let's go get a track. Again, same process. You want to go down here. AC tracks this time. Uh, ooh, that sounds. AC tracks. You want to go to downloads. Just going to find random mod. So, uh, that. Um, so you can, as you can see, I've locked a lot of mods. Um, let's download, let's get track. Let's get Daytona. Same process, install. Once that is installing, once that is finished installing, let's minimize this in the exact same way as you were installing your custom shaders patch. It is a simple drag and drop. So drag and drop. You can see the little icon that downloads there. Just want to wait for this to install. So it's almost done. There we go. Drag and drop. Minimize that. Boom. Install all. Makes our life a little easier. Track is done. Car is finished. You're gonna find your mods if you go back into cars, brands. There it is, Acura. Got a whole bunch of cars. Get the Sonardi edition. Tracks, exact same way. America, there it is, Daytona. So with everything installed fully, let's click go down here. After clicking that, it'll load up the game, it'll load up your mods that you have installed. And there is your car. You click drive here. If you have uh, your controller or your steering wheel set up, you'll be able to drive around. I don't have anything set up at the moment, but that is it. That is everything. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope this tutorial helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, other than that, that is the full setup on how to get started with Assetto Corsa. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos, please leave another comment down below. Um, we upload every week with hot laps of what we do here at Kirby Motor Racing Sim Club. Um, if you want to get started with joining the server, uh, the discord link is in the description. Uh, if you guys join that, I'll be able to help you guys get set up. Um, if this video didn't fully help you, uh, but most of the time we'll probably link you to this video as I made it. So, uh, yeah, that is everything. If you have any questions, you can go to the discord and DM us there, or you can, uh, question it in the comments down below. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, have a good day. Goodbye.